Hi guys. Uh, hi, it's Pam from Central California. We're in the triple digits now for however long. <laughs> so, uh, but I want to talk to you about the second uh, journal of stitchery that we're all doing, what some people are doing. And I wanted to show you, I think I came up with another way to cut the bulk down. So if you remember, my book was pretty big. It was like much bigger than what I want to do now. And I'm not going to use this cover. I have another cover similar that's coming that has um, cardinals on it. Because I love cardinals. Okay. So, um, but this is the kind of book one of the Reader's Digest, just like Sarah used last time. Uh, so, I wanted to show this. I think I came up with an idea to make this a little bit easier and not as much bulk. So, uh, last time I did it, I did it like... Uh, like Rachel did I did the accordion one so that put a several layers so you had your first layer that you're gonna you know stitch on right and then you had another layer that was a big layer that you put it on top of and then you put the two together like that so you you virtually had quite a bit more bulk and since we're doing this uh, twice a month uh, you have a, you know, you'd have to have a huge, you might, in my case, the way I did it, I'd have to have a much bigger book. So, um, I decided I want to try it this way. Let's see if I can make everybody understand. So let's say, let's pretend this week we have four, four, um, stitching, stitching pages done. Okay. So, uh, we have four of them. Do I have them here? So let's say we have four stitching pages done. So this will probably be, I had another thought too, that the this front page here, if you want, like uh, Sarah and the, uh, Rachel said, you could put it over here. I was thinking uh, what, I don't know what the first prompt is or what a prompt is, but um, we don't have to actually do them in the exact order, right? So I was thinking one of the prompts might lend itself to, making it's whatever the prompt let's say the prompt was trees i don't know i don't know what the prompts are they didn't tell me um so let's say you wanted to do trees well let's say then you could make your title page the prompt of trees but also make it into your title page of roxy's journal of stitchery so um that number one that could cut down one page um and you could do it with the end page too, if you wish. Like, so you could cut down two pages by using whatever the theme is as the page, as the page, but also making it the end page or whatever. So that's the first thought. So uh, now here's my idea. So instead of having an extra, so let's say this one's, we'll pretend this is the right side and it's been stitched and this is the wrong side. And, um, and then this is the wrong side of, the next page. Um, I'm thinking I could put the two pages together like this. So you get rid of the sandwich page right in the middle. And then uh, same thing for the next, the, this next one here. So, you know, these are two are put together and obviously this one's the wrong size. So just pretend like it's the right size. Okay, so then I, I'm thinking I'm going to put these two together, sew them together with a little strip of fabric that then can be the part that makes it the signature, you know what I mean, that will go into your, your spine or however you decide to do it. So I was thinking um, I would, you could either, let's see, let's get a piece. <laughs> I was thinking about using a nice fabric well, this just for purposes that I have this sitting here, this I don't know that this wouldn't necessarily be the right one, but um, so let's say you, you know, they'd all have to be the same width and all that. So you'd have to work that out. So let's say you wanted it to be, so if they're like this, you just need a, just a piece to go around them about, you know, like that. So, you know, this might be a good enough size and it's, uh, I don't know, I'm not saying I'm just, we're talking. We're talking now. Uh, probably two inches would be fine. This is two, I don't know, and almost a half. Anyway, so so right now that we're pretending we have these two, sorry, 
these two to make one leaf. <laughs> these two, uh, these are the right sides that we've 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 put these together. We sewed them together. Then you can either take a piece like this and sew it on here, just along here and here, or if you don't, I, now I think I'm going to like a look like that because you could use a different fabric. I'm I'm thinking about using a different fabric for each leaf this this part in here so that they're different pretty fabrics and uh probably a thicker fabric than you know just because you you want it to survive being sewn in which would be fine so um you can either put it on the outside and just sew it on here just like you did you know when you had the other the accordion stuff or you could uh sandwich it in between just like this sandwich it and so then you don't really see it you know it's just like this then that would be your leaf. So you've cut out, you've cut out the middle, you know, the middle stuff. And then this would be like that. So that'd be one. And that would actually be, um, so let's say that was, uh, you had the opening. So if we said we needed 14 of them, right? Or, or 12, depending on how you do it. Then that would be four of them right there. So you'd still only have three signatures, but they would be put together in such a way that you have less bulk. And I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do with my book, just because I think it would, I could fit it into the, one of these Reader Digest uh, condensed uh, book page thingies. And it would be, uh, that would be three times four, well, right? Because you'd, yeah, it would be 12, because it would be four. You have one, two, three, four, yeah. So I think that that will work perfectly in this book because I forget how many, because this is the same kind of book Sarah used and I forget how many, um, I forget how many signatures she had or how that worked because my brain is mush. But uh, so I'm thinking that it would, that would be very, I could be very, uh, I could easily get it into a book like this because this spine is only like they were saying you need two two inch spine and but this is like a one and a half or one and let's say if you squished it down so about one and three fourths inch spine so i'm thinking instead of two i i could by cutting out all that extra bulk i could fit it all in here so right now that's the way i'm proceeding that's how i'm thinking i'm gonna do it and uh we'll see how it works uh, if not, I mean, I, you know, if not, see what I did last time was I went along with it so that I had, when I was done with the last one, I could just sew them all in. But I don't know, I might wait this time till I get, see how big it is when one leaf is finished, see what I think, if I need to make a bigger spine or not. So that's my thoughts on it. I don't know if it will work, but I'm thinking, in my thinking, it cuts out Maybe not quite 50%, but pretty much 50%. Because if you think you have, you know, if this is open like this and then you have another piece in here. Um, so that's, you're cutting out the middle, right? So you would have a, quite a lot less bulk is in theory. So, yeah. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I could. Now, what you could do too. So let's say I want to. I'm, I'm thinking knowing my personality, I probably want it to be on the outside because I would love all this, how this all looks. So uh, if I do it like that, then the other side, you wouldn't, the other side would look like this, right? <clears throat> Hope I'm not confusing you. It's hard to do it if you don't have it all done, you know, but so the other side would look like this. Now, if you didn't, if you wanted it to look a little bit different, you could make another one of these, put it on just like you did the other side and sew it, um, sew it down, and then, um, then yeah, you could have, it would look the same on each, but it, I don't think it, ultimately, it doesn't really matter, but you just want, because the fabric in here is, is thicker, or is better than uh, uh, paper, like when you do, when you do a book, right, like you do a journal, so I'm thinking that could work perfectly, so um, those are my thoughts on the Journal of Citry. And I told Sarah yesterday that I came up with an idea that I think will work um, and make it so that, you know, you can use less, less, uh, you know, fabric. So you could use your same kind of size book if you, you know, if you didn't want to have a big thick book. 
And I told her I was going to make a movie, and here's the movie. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, so that's that's my thoughts. And like I said, the other two thoughts, like let's say you your 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 opening page could be, and let's say I don't know what they're. They said they're not going to do. They're only going to tell you um, a theme, and they're not going to say what to use for the background. So, like I said, if you had trees or a wreath, wreath would be perfect. You could, um, you know, you make your wreath with however you're going to do it, whether it's a winter wreath or a Christmas wreath, you know, whatever. And then you could put your journal, a stitchery, whatever you want in here like that. And so let's say the last page was, I don't know, trees. Then you could do your tree stuff and it could be your last page. You could do something that makes it seem like the last page, the end, or I don't know. I don't know. I think last time all I did was just put another page on it that was, um, uh, that was, uh, you know, just something completely random. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. And I'm very excited to get my book because it has cardinals on it. <laughs> I had to scour for that. It was a little more expensive than I wanted to pay, but cardinals. Um, and that was, I found it after I had already bought this one. And I had another one like this too. Which I thought that would be really pretty for a Christmas one. So um, I have these two books. This one I accidentally cut right here, but that can be reinforced. So if somebody really, really wants these, um, email me. And if somebody emails me, I will be happy to send these for free to you. Uh, okay, so, um, and my email is, I'll put it in the description box. And so, the, you know, I have to say the first two, but uh, so this is like a hot pink with blue navy blue and then this is super brown flowers and uh, I thought because I get torn between I love autumn part of me thought I'm gonna do it more like autumn winter and Christmas <laughs> but I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do but and, and I do have that one coming that has cardinals over here so I thought that would be fun okay so that was just a quick video just to say um, hi, I'm going to do this one. I wanted to share you my idea. I cut down two pages, I think, um, and cut down the middle of everything. So that should make it so that you might be able to fit it in this size of a spine. So, okay. So thank you guys for watching. It's just a little little video. Uh, that's it. That's all I'm, I'm working on. And uh, you guys are great. And see you again soon. Bye.